Hi, I'm Melissa Cobb, come fly with AOPA. This week, we highlight a foundation that's using aviation to bring hope to inner city kids, new aircraft at Germany's Aero Friedrichshafen, and a walk around of the TL Sport Aircraft Sparker. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. The Fly Compton Foundation is using aviation to make a difference in the lives of inner city youth from Los Angeles. Today we have our, our, one of our classes that we normally have every other weekend where we bring in young children from the inner city ages 8 to 18 and just to expose them to the wonderful world of aviation and all the opportunities uh, that it provides them. The goal of the foundation is to essentially be a one-stop shop, somewhere you can come develop and move on. And actually, with our Aero Club, we can use that as a pathway to you know, offer jobs, starting jobs, and then move on to somewhere uh, bigger and better or greater. I'm interested in air traffic controls, so I'm definitely shifting like which one do I want to be. So I'm trying to learn both, uh, but I definitely want to get my license so that I can always have like something to do and I can fly, you know, privately and fly people places and also have that as like a little side hustle. Yes, I would, I would like to be a pilot, get my license as soon as possible. But I, I think flying is cool. I like to fly a lot. My name is Alex Barker. I currently am the chief flight instructor. It's the best feeling to see that they're actually retaining, I'm connecting with them on a way, you know. Some of these kids I've known when they were like at my hip and now they're like, <laughs> and I've only been here like three years. <laughs> so like I'm watching these kids grow and some of the things that I'm teaching them I could see and their parents are telling me that it's now improved their academic performance in school, their social lives, how they present themselves, how they take responsibility. Currently we have about uh, 100 students enrolled and we actually still have another 100 students on the wait list. And so uh, unfortunately, you know, Compton Airport is very small and there isn't a lot of uh, facilities here for us to operate out of. But eventually we plan to grow and scale. We're already in talks with the County of Los Angeles to build our own permanent structure here at Compton Airport. I love seeing how aviation can make a difference in people's lives. And speaking of making a difference in people's lives through aviation, the Aero Club of Washington is honoring AOPA President Mark Baker with the 2024 Donald D. Engine Aero Club Trophy for Aviation Excellence. He's being recognized for his ambitious leadership and unwavering commitment to general aviation during his 11-year tenure leading AOPA. He's also being honored for making aviation safer for each of us who takes to the skies. We have lots of news to catch you up on this week coming off the heels of Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo in Florida. And this week going on right now is the Aero Friedrichshafen show in Germany. Well, the future of Progressive Aerodyne is in question. Now, that's the manufacturer of the amphibious Sea Ray aircraft that's built as a kit-built or factory version light sport aircraft. The factory has shut down production while the company is actually negotiating the possible sale to an investor group. It's all the information that we have at the moment, but we'll continue to keep you updated as that situation progresses. Two new aircraft were introduced at Aero. Technum introduced a new 200 horsepower P2006 T NG twin. NG stands for next generation. The Italian aircraft manufacturer said the model has more than 300 improvements over the current P2006 T model. It features two fuel injected Rotax 912 IS C3 engines. They burn 3.7 gallons per hour per engine, so that is pretty good. It has a central console to manage Garmin avionics, including the GFC 700 3 axis autopilot and the G1000 NXI. Technum is also offering what it calls a super premium version the P2006 TNG Sport. Now, the launch customer is Spanish Flying School Flyby. 
BRM Aero, the manufacturer of the Bristol, they're actually based in the Czech Republic, announced a new aircraft. That's the B-23 Energic. It's a two-seat, fully electric aircraft. It has a maximum takeoff weight just over 1,800 pounds and 60 minutes of endurance plus reserves. It needs an hour to charge. Continental Aerospace Technologies introduced a Jet A piston engine for helicopters, the CD-170R. This turbocharged engine produces 170 horsepower and it's expected to burn just under eight gallons of Jet A per hour in cruise. Finally this week, here's a look at a cool new aircraft we saw at Sun and Fun. It's the TL Sport Aircraft Sparker. It's a sleek new aircraft design coming from the Czech Republic. So uh, TL Sport Aircraft is very excited to announce and debut at Sun and Fun 2024, the new Sparker that you see here behind me. TL Sport Aircraft has been in business since 1989 operating uh, an hour south-southeast of Prague. We have produced over 2,000 aircraft currently flying around the world. This is an aircraft that has been greatly anticipated. Uh, we offer five different aircraft in our lineup, two LSAs and three experimental amateur-built aircraft. And the TL Sparker is nicely positioned between the LSA market and the GA market. Uh, this aircraft is, is more akin uh, to a Cirrus, for example, than it is, say, our Sting or Sirius models. It has a 50 inch wide cabin. It's almost with one inch shy of the width of a Cirrus. With three G3X displays, cup holders that pop out of the dash or hold your iPhone or your iPad mini. You have heated leather seats. This aircraft boasts 175 knot cruise with a Rotax 916 IS on just under eight gallons an hour. This aircraft was built for luxury cross-country flying. For those that just want to go up and punch holes in the sky, the aircraft is very well balanced. It has an excellent uh, harmony in the flight controls. It's fun to fly, fast roll rate, with, and with excellent visibility, as you can see, with that, with that uh, canopy, it's just a blast to fly. So the aircraft is an experimental amateur built with an accelerated build program that we provide at the factory. It is not a kit aircraft, it is finished at the factory. So this aircraft is already nicely positioned to fit right into the MLSA or this new mosaic category. It uh, as currently written and as proposed, it, will f it already fits inside those guidelines. The starting price point of this aircraft with 100 horsepower uh, is about 327. And this aircraft will do 138 knots with 100 horsepower. Uh, with the turbo, with oxygen and full IFR, you're about 420,000. So what really separates the Sparker uh, in the industry from a lot of others is, is the size. The fit and finish is top notch. I think the Sparker is currently well positioned to, to fit nicely into this mosaic category and, and really win a lot of pilots over that, uh, that have traditionally flown GA aircraft but don't want the cost and maintenance associated uh, with, with that category. That looks like a lot of fun to fly. Last week, Colin and Katrina announced the upcoming change to the Fly with AOPA show, moving from a weekly format to one that's hosted at major aviation events. And some of you expressed concerns about what I would be doing. So I wanted to take a moment uh, just to fill you in on what's going on with me. I resigned from AOPA in August last year. Uh, I had been with AOPA for 19 years. I came there right out of college and the people at AOPA quickly became my family away from home. However, I'm in a new season of life and uh, I wanted to take a step back and focus on my young family. And I have been continuing to host Fly with AOPA for all of you as a contractor. However, I'm unable to continue with the weekly commitment past mid-May. I'll still be freelancing for AOPA and producing content, but I will sincerely miss connecting with each of you every week on this show. Well, this week we leave you with some fantastic formation flying footage from the AOPA's very talented Brie Cabasa. It's of AOPA's Eric Webb and Cade Hawley. They're doing formation flying with a Cessna 170 and a Vans Aircraft RV-12. 
Be sure to send in your favorite flying videos. You just might see them on an upcoming show. And if you're not already an AOPA pilot, we'd love for you to join us. Just click on the link at the end of this video to learn more about our trial membership. We'll see you next week.